This is Ian Zone. Let's move the chains. Dwayne The Rock Johnson recently, on August 11th, tweeted out, looking forward to the chat, my friends. And my friends, I'm assuming he is calling out to Fox Sports. Now we go to work and build. Hashtag culture. Hashtag the XFL. Now, we don't know necessarily if this confirms that Fox Sports is the front runner for the XFL's new media partner. But we can certainly assume that. Uh, there's still a lot to be done for the XFL if they want to try and do a 2021 season. You know, they, they have a lot of work to do. There are a lot of hurdles. And the XFL, to get past any of these hurdles, they got to lock down a TV deal. They're not going to go anywhere until they get this TV deal down because that means everything. And that's really the main way they're going to have to try and generate revenue. And I'm curious to see if TV companies will cut the XFL a better deal because of the circumstances, because sports are getting more views than usual. Now, XFL 2.0, they didn't really make much money off of broadcasting. You know, TV companies, they come in and say, yes, we'll distribute your content, but we're not really going to pay you anything. We might help with your production, but we are not actually going to give you money for the distribution. Now, I wonder if because of the circumstances of COVID-19, whether the XFL plays in the spring or not, maybe the summer, whether or not college football is played in the spring, because if it's played in the spring, then the XFL is not going to play in the spring. I could go ahead and tell you that. But say college football does not play in the spring in this scenario, and the XFL is the lone league in the spring, maybe, just maybe, Fox or another company, we don't know, might pay the XFL because it becomes that much more attractive. People are hungry for sports, and if we lose college football, people are going to want to watch football. And all of a sudden, you have Dwayne The Rock Johnson kind of as this big figure, metaphorically and, yes, literally, at the helm of this new football project. A lot of people could be interested. And I'm wondering if the XFL will be cut a better deal than the AAF or XFL 2.0. XFL 2.0, they did get a better TV deal than the AAF in terms of getting at least some revenue from ads. The AAF was literally cut nothing. And I actually, for one, hope that Fox Sports does get this deal. A lot of you might like ESPN, but I have watched every single XFL game. Again, I've been binging them this past week, and I have noticed the Fox coverage, the quality was so much better than ESPN's. For some reason, ESPN had a lot of trouble with the audio. You know, one thing that stuck out, there are a lot of points in the game when I think that they were trying to switch the volume between the mic'd up players and the announcers or maybe the sideline reporters. They had lots of problems. And a lot of times it got distracting. You know, they would put these uh, the players in or maybe the coaches in where they're getting a play call and then they would have the announcers talking over them trying to explain everything. It didn't feel as natural. Now, Kurt Menefee and Joel Klatt did an incredible job and I think that they were kind of the best group. Also, they had Brock Hewitt. In my opinion, Fox was the superior broadcasting partner with the XFL when it comes into quality and when it comes into actual viewing experience. It felt more natural. There weren't nearly as many mistakes. In the sideline reporting, I felt like it was more natural. You know, they were actually getting players who wanted to be interviewed. There were a couple times in some of the interviews that kind of just felt forced and uncomfortable. I, for one, am pro Fox Sports. I would rather see them in this contract than ESPN, but that's my opinion. I'd love to know your thoughts below. Do you think that the XFL could be cut a better deal because of the circumstances in the world if college football is not played in the spring? Again, I'd love to know your opinion. Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.